rule. Okay. So product rule is, is u times v, derivative is u v prime plus v u prime. And do uh, we'll do an example here. Uh, so first example is like sine of x times e to the x. So this is this is your u, and this is your v. So your y prime is is the keeping the first function sine x. And then taking the derivative of, of the second function e to the x. Uh, so, do you know the derivative of e to the x? X e. It is just itself e to the x. Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Plus. Okay. okay. V, which is the second function e to the x, times the derivative of sine x. Do you remember this derivative of sine? It's cosine. Your design is cosine x. Okay. All right. So that's uh, that's example. It's an example of that. So let's look at uh, another example here. Let's say that uh, y equals uh, x squared times. Uh, let's go natural log of x. So y equals x squared uh, times one over x. Yes, that's the first part of it. Plus, plus two um, x times the one uh, oh, natural log of x. Yeah. Natural log yeah. Of x. Okay, and then uh, this this so here on the right it simplifies. Um, it's you know it's x squared over x, which which becomes just x. And then 2x natural log of x plus 2x natural log of x there. Uh, and, and the 1 over x? Well, the, it, the x squared times times 1 becomes x squared. These, these become x squared here. And then 1 times x is x. So x squared over x is yeah. x. OK. All right, uh, so let's look at another example here. Let's say y equals, um, I don't know, x squared plus 3x times, uh, let's go cosine x here. Okay, this is, all of this is your u, all of this is your v. Okay. So y equals, you keep the u. Okay. Derivative of cosine. Negative sine. Negative sine x. X. Then plus. Plus. Um, 2x. Okay. What's the derivative? Plus. Plus three. Plus three. Cosine x. And then uh, and then a small thing here, you know, you you would you would probably put this this negative would probably go out in front. So you'd write negative x squared plus three x sine x plus two. Uh, how how did you get the cosine x? The uh, derivative of a negative sine? Yes. Okay. We have to put the, ne the negative over there. Yes. Okay. All right. So let's look at uh, another example here. <laughs> let's say that. Uh, Say that y equals um, 5x plus 1 over x times e to the x. And so y equals 
5x plus 1 over x to the e to the x e, e times e x. Okay, plus. What's the plus, derivative of this one here? Plus uh, 5 plus negative x. What's this? So 1 over x is, is really x to the minus 1 power. Okay. X. Oh, so it's not negative x. It's well, negative well, it, it this negative does come in front. It becomes negative x, and then you subtract one from the exponent, like this. It's negative x to the negative. Yes. I'm I'm confused. Okay. Well, uh, is, so it, is it is uh... it? So power rule. If you have x to a number, the derivative yes. is subtracting one from the exponent. Okay. So here, up here, up at the top, x to the minus one, when you subtract one, it becomes x to the negative two. Okay. 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 Negative comes out in front because of the negative one times e to the x. Okay. Okay, let's, let's do a couple more here. Let's say y equals uh, one plus tangent x times, uh, let's say, natural log of x plus x squared. So again, this, this whole thing is your u, and this whole thing is your v. Yeah. y equals 1 plus tan x. Keep it, then 1 over x right. plus 2x. OK, plus? plus plus uh, zero okay. plus what is the derivative of tan i don't have the paper all right let me uh let me send that to you as a uh as a as a, as a link uh so you've got it because you what's definitely want uh sure whatever you would like okay. um yeah and what's up and uh and that way you've got it so All right, so we got, let's go find it, I guess. All right, so if you take a look at that, you'll see in the uh, trig function section, yes. and I'll snip that yes, in. It. It's sec squared x? Yeah, it's secant squared x. Uh, that's definitely one you're going to want to want to have down. Um, so it's secant squared x. Okay. Secant. Okay, so let's continue with derivative with uh, so we took the derivative of, of this one and then what do you do with this next one here? You keep it. You keep it natural log of x plus x squared. Okay, so let's move to the quotient rule. Well, you, you keep you always keep the v. It's uh it, it the derivative is u v prime plus v uh I'm sorry, u u prime u v prime. So you've got you've got it all here. I'm sorry, uh, u prime v. Okay. Yeah. So let's do some quotient rule. Okay. So quotient rule is is u over v, 
and the derivative of this is uh, v u prime minus u v u prime. Sorry, u. Getting this right. Bottom times root top minus top times root of the bottom over the bottom squared. So this is this is your derivative rule here. Okay. So we'll do an example here. Let's say y equals uh, e to the x over sine x. Okay. You the yeah. v is the bottom. So sine x times the derivative of e to the x, which is e to the x minus the top. The oh, u is the top. Um, which one do you keep? The well, sign? Well, the, the V is what's on the bottom. This is this is U and this is V. So you keep sine X in the bottom? We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. We haven't got, you do that last. Um, we're just filling these in. Like U is the top. U is E to the X. Derivative of the bottom, that's V prime. Derivative of sine is cosine X. This is your V U prime minus U V prime. Mm -hmm. Over sine squared X. Okay. What, what rule is that? Which this one? is the, this is the quotient rule. Quotient. I'm trying to find it in the paper. The it's f it, it's uses f and g in the paper but u and v are oh. are better generally okay so i'll i'll write that down the y equals wait so how is the Quotient rule, the rule. Is that it? This, this, is, the, oh. this is the oh, derivative. Okay. It starts out as y equals u over v. All right, okay. okay so let's, let's try another example here. Let's say y equals um, x squared over natural log of x. Okay, so the derivative is okay. It's um, it's the bottom. You got a v. You got to yeah. take the the bottom first. Natural log of x. Oh, y prime equals to natural log of x. Um, x squared or two x. We have to take the derivative of the top. What's oh. the derivative of the top? Two x. Two x minus u, which is the top. Minus x squared yep um one over x one over x okay over oh, the bottom uh, the bottom squared okay now just like in the earlier example the numerator you can simplify so put the 2x out in front 2x natural log of x this x squared times one is is x squared over one times x, which is x over natural log of x squared. Now, now this part right here that I'm circling, that that becomes just x. Wait, so uh, how did you get the two x, Ellen? I, I moved two x oh. out in front. I'm just, supposed to do that, or yeah, yeah. Is it okay to just keep it. No, you, oh, no. You, you want to do that. You want to move it. Um, okay. So then on the right here, x squared times 1 is x squared. 1 times x is x. Okay. Wait, and, um, how did you do do that? Like one... uh, yeah, I'm multiplying the numerators, the top ones here. x squared times 1 is, is x squared. 1 times x is x. Okay. Okay, so now now this on the right, this thing that I'm circling, that becomes just x. This right here mm. is just x.
No, isn't it two X? Two X? No, there, there's just... the numerator is X X squared, which is really X times X. The bottom is X. Oh. They cancel, and you're just left with X. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, let's do another example here. Let's say that uh, Y equals, um, I mean, let's go X squared plus one over E to the X. So Y prime equals two. You gotta you start. You start by keeping the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Keeping the bottom. So e to the uh, e to the x mm -hmm. two x plus one plus zero. Okay. Plus zero. Minus. Minus. Now you change the bottom. Well, you keep the top. E x. You keep oh. the top first. So it's x squared plus one. X squared derivative plus of the bottom one e x yep over the bottom squared a parentheses e x or just like, like this yeah usually in parentheses on the bottom okay yeah. okay okay now this one simplifies okay so um let's let's do a little bit of simplifying here this e to the x times 2x becomes 2x e to the x. So you just multiply this in. OK. okay. Uh, on the right here, we're going to just we're going to leave this as is. OK, all over e to the x uh, squared. Now, see how there's Wait, an e you, oh, you can't multiply e to the x to x squared or uh, you don't need to uh, because okay. we want to we actually want to factor out this e to the x that's in both see how this oh, is okay. in see how this is in both here okay. so we're going to write this as e to the x times 2x minus x squared plus one over right. e to the x uh, squared so since e to the x is in both, you can you can factor it out. Okay, now now on the bottom here, the, this is critical. Um, this this e to the x on the bottom really means e to the x times e to the x, and you and yeah. you have you have another one up top. Okay, so this cancels with one of those. Okay. So your derivative is now just this part up top, okay? Which which we can distribute the negative in. So we get negative x squared plus two x because that's positive minus one over Ooh. e to the x. Wait, wait, uh, this negative goes you... goes into both of these. Plus one. No, uh, negative one. Okay. Negative goes to both. Yeah. And two x. Okay. Right, okay. So let's, try, let's try another one here. This example. Let's go four uh, x plus three over three x minus two. Okay. So this is your. This is your y. Y prime equals to keep up. No, no, you keep it down. Right? Wait, um, what's the word? Oh. Three X minus two. Okay, so to keep the bottom three X minus two. Times the derivative of the top. Times zero. The no, derivative times of four x. Four, four. Times four. Yep. Times four. Minus. Plus zero. Right. Oh, so we're, we're not going to write that, but yeah. Okay. 
minus uh, it's q to the up so four x plus three. Okay. And the derivative of the bottom. Uh, yeah, which is three. Three over. Yeah. The bottom. Uh, squared. Okay. Great. Now in the numerator, we can multiply both of these by four. So that's twelve x minus eight, and then here both by three. But see how it becomes twelve x but there's a negative, so it's minus 12x. And then that's nine, but then there's a, a minus oh. nine there. It's 12x minus eight. Then the three times three, nine? Negative, oh. But it's negative. It's Four. negative because there's a negative out in front here. This this applies to everything on the right. Oh, so negative nine. Yep. And negative twelve also. I'm sorry. Even that... negative twelve x. Yes. How? Oh. Well, it, well, it's three times four x, which is twelve x, but there's a negative out in front, so it applies to both of these. Okay. Okay. Now, when you get to this step. The twelve x and the minus twelve x cancel. Right. Um, so it's negative seventeen over three x minus two squared. Negative seventeen. Yeah. Okay. Let's try another one like that. Let's go um, 5x plus 1 over uh, 2x minus 3. So your derivative is the yeah. bottom, right? 2x minus 3. Derivative of the top is 5. Okay. Okay, so the numerator, the numerator up here again, five times both of these. So that's 10x minus 15. Here, two times 5x is 10x, but there's a negative, so it's minus 10x. Two, so it's minus two over 2x minus three squared. Then you can, but you can't cancel the negative 10 and the 10 now, or you can. You can, yeah, you have to. So those go away. You yeah, even though they have different signs? Well, they, they that's why they cancel. I mean, if you have five oh. minus five or five X minus five X, these are both zero. Okay, okay, what if it has a plus? You don't cancel? Nope, you add them. Oh, okay. And it's fine to have an X. Above or you have to cancel. Um, I, I I guess I don't follow. You 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 cancel these. If if they didn't cancel, you would leave them. Okay. Okay, I got it. Okay, so let's try another one here. Let's say y equals one plus tangent x over uh, x squared minus three x. Y equals um, keep the bottom so this is x squared minus 3x then the derivative of uh, 1 is 0 which, and the tan is sec what's sec squared? squared x mm -hmm. do you have to put the 0 or no no just just for okay. clarity okay. plus c squared x Minus uh, minus one plus ten x. Uh, 
um, and the third of these two x um, minus three. Okay. All over x squared All minus over three. x squared minus three x squared. Yes. Okay, great. So let's move on to chain rule. Oh, th that's it. You don't uh, do anything with this. This one, this one doesn't simplify very nicely. So. Okay. So chain rule says if you have an outside function and an inside function, this is outside, and this is inside. The derivative is you, you keep it, but then you multiply by the ins the derivative of the inside function. Okay. So let's look at an example of this. Let's say y equals sine of x squared. So according to this line right here, you keep you, you keep it. Sine, you keep sine times x squared times two x. Times two x. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's do another example. Let's so, see. How, how much rule is this? What's it called? It's called the chain rule. Chain rule, okay. Chain rule. Okay, so now we um, we can say y, this is an example here, y equals a natural log of 5x squared plus 1 over x. So the derivative is So, I'm sorry, I, I I messed this up bad. Um, we need to restart here. Let me. Uh, it's it's uh, the derivative. It's the derivative of the outside function mm. times the derivative of the inside function. So let me actually not. Let's do it. We need to start over. Okay. Okay. So this is a mistake here. So the the example here is y equals sine of x squared. So the derivative is. You have to take the derivative of the outside function. Okay. Cosine. Keep the inside function, but then multiply by two x. So this is okay. this is u, this is v, and then this is u prime v v prime. So you so you got to take derivative of the outside, keep the inside. Take the derivative okay. of the inside. Okay. All right. So let's move on to a, another example here. Let's say it's uh, y equals, um, let's see, natural log of x squared plus one. So the derivative is, the derivative is, what is the derivative of natural log? One over x. One over x then squared you keep, plus one. Then you keep the inside. But then you multiply by the derivative of this. Oh, wait, but you keep the inside, oh no. We did, right there. Oh, one over, okay, now two x plus zero. Right, so then this simplifies to two x over x squared plus one. Okay. Let's try another one. Y equals e to the sine x. So the derivative of e, e is the outside function. This is u, this is v. Derivative of e, e is e. Keep the inside function. Multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So the derivative of sine is cosine. cosine. Okay. Let's say y equals um, um, tangent of 4x minus x squared. Okay. 
derivative of the outside function. Outside function, it's tan. Oh, it's no, it's tan. It's sec secant squared. Mm -hmm. Secant squared 4x minus x squared times times 4 minus 2x. All right, very good. Now, the uh, the thing with the chain rule is that it, it keeps going. So, mm -hmm. like, I could say sine of natural log of x squared plus 1. And you just you just continue the pattern. So the derivative is derivative of sine is x cosine. Is cosine of x or no? Yeah. Well, you keep you keep all of this. Then you move. Then you move here. What's the derivative of natural log? Um. One over x. X squared plus one, right? Squared and then one. and then you take the derivative of this. 2x plus one. Oh, okay. Uh, zero. So you keep going. You keep you keep you keep applying the chain rule until you're done. So you have to be comfortable okay. with like like you know the, you keep having inside functions until you're done. Let's try another one here. Let's go. Y equals e to the sine of 6x. Um, okay. Y prime equals 2e. Then cos, no, oh, then you no, keep sine. Keep it, yep. Now you're, then, now, okay. now you're up to here, to the sine. So what's the of sine? Yeah, uh, third of sine is cosine x. Yep, but you keep the inside, 6x, times the derivative of 6x. And then that's uh, 6. Times 6. Very good. OK, let's try another one here. OK, so now let's say y equals cosine of 3x plus 1 all to the power of 5. Okay, so now this 5, this is the outermost function right here. So 5, 5 times. Yep, keep the inside function. Okay, now you have to take the derivative of the inside function. Wait, why is it four? Our rule. Uh, oh, okay. Right. It, if it's y equals x to the n, y prime is no, n x to the n minus one. What's the derivative of cosine? And negative sine. Negative sign, keep the three X. Keep it, then change the one. So the derivative of plus one is zero. plus zero. But then yeah. you gotta take the derivative of the three X right here. It's three. Which is three. three. So that right ends up going right there. Oh, right there? Yes. Oh. Not, uh, not times three? No. No, because you're you're supposed to take the derivative of it fully. And we're, and we're done here, or yeah, more. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's try let's try another one here. Let's say uh, let's do another example. Let's say y equals the natural log of sine of three x plus the cosine of x squared. So y prime equals to one over sine times sine three x 
plus cos times x squared plus b plus x. So, you, so you've taken care of natural log. Now you move inside here. What's the derivative of sine three x? Um, cos cos three Co cosine three x. But then you have to take the derivative of the inside yeah. function, which is three. three. This plus, plus is right here. Derivative of cosine yeah. is minus derivative sine. Cos uh, minus sine. Yeah. X squared. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, two x times two x. Let's try another one and say y equals one over x plus e to the two x all to the power of three. Okay, y prime equals to three times one over x plus e to the two x mm -hmm. over two. Or two times now through to the inside functions. Which is uh, negative x over negative two. That's right. Okay, like this. That works. Plus, what's the derivative of e? Itself, so e, okay. then two x. What's the derivative of two x? Because there's a chain rule there. Two. Two. Okay. All right. So now we can integrate, we can, we can use product rule with chain rule. Okay. So let's do a couple examples of those. So let's do, let's say y equals um, 3x plus 1 squared times 2x minus 3 cubed. So this whole thing is your u, and this whole yeah. thing is your v. So y prime equals to two times, uh, keep it. Oh. Keep it, but then you multiply by the derivative of the inside function, which is? Oh, 3x plus one, no, we keep, three. We keep, times three. three. Okay, and then you keep, you keep v. Okay, so this is all this is all u prime, and this is v plus. Now what? Plus. Um, six plus two, or no? Which don't, uh, don't touch it. So it's it's the the product rule is u v u v becomes. Uh, u prime v plus u v prime. So you're going to keep, you keep the three x plus one squared. That's u. And you have to take the root of this. Where? But we, we already changed it or no? Well, there's, there's two parts to it, right? There's part one and there's part two. Okay, so this, so, so this is, this right here is your u, you still need v prime. So your derivative of this is three, two x minus three squared. Derivative of this is two. Wait, uh, how, how did he get, oh, okay. Two x minus three, two, okay. Yes. That's it? That's it. Okay. We should do another one here. Y equals 4x plus 5 to the power of 3 times uh, 3x plus 4 to the power of 2. Okay. 
Again, this all of this is your U, all yeah. of this is your V. Okay, now it's three y prime equals three times four plus uh, yeah four x plus five. Um, now we change the v. You have the derivative of the inside function. Oh. What's the derivative of four x plus five? Four, just four. Okay. So all that's all of that is u prime. Okay, and then three x plus four squared is your v. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Now what's next? Um, now you change the no. Now you keep the v. Okay, x plus four. We already did that. Uh, no, uh, two times uh, two times three x plus four. Okay. Now what's the derivative of the inside? Inside is. Uh, uh, Two times the derivative of three x plus four is three. Three. So that's that's oh. v prime. Now we need u. So four x plus five cubed. It's, it's very long. That's why uh, I get confused. You know, this is not a this is not a difficult problem in calculus one like this is something you you want to be you want to have down um you know that this is there's much more difficult stuff coming so just keep that in mind um so let's do another one let's do um let's do a let's go uh e to the 5x plus one times Sine of three x plus two. So y prime this equals two. This is your v. Prime equals two. E to the five x plus one. Okay. Times e to the five. It's just five. E to the five. Just yeah. five, because. The derivative of five x plus one is five. This oh. is this is your u prime. Keep your v sine three x plus two. So there's your v. Plus now you got to take derivative of this thing on the right here. The derivative of Sign. No, the inside. You have to take the derivative of this whole thing. Derivative of sine is cosine. 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 Keep the inside function. Then three. Okay, so that's that's v prime. Now you need u. So it's e to the five x plus one times five. Oh no. It's just you. There's no U prime. Okay. Just you. Okay. All right. Last one here. So let's say we got uh, uh, one over x plus x squared times natural log of three uh, x minus two. This is your U. This is your V, Y prime. Okay, Y prime equals two. Yeah. Um, one, no, negative. 
x over negative 2. Okay. Plus. Plus 2x. Okay. T um, times. Uh, 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 natural log of 3x minus 2. Okay. Very good. Plus. Minus 2. Plus um, 1 over. 1 over. 3x minus 2. Okay. Then times. times uh, 3. 3. And then you got the rest of it here. 1 yeah. over x plus. 1 over x plus x squared. Yeah. All right. Great. So that does take us to the uh, end of our lesson today. I'll uh, I'll send you the notes here uh, uh, right. shortly. Uh, 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 and you can give me like a short homework for me to do for me to be like. Uh, there's a lot. I mean, there's lots of stuff online. I just recommend searching some stuff. We could schedule another lesson whenever you're ready. Oh, all right. Could we have it tomorrow, or we'll just text by WhatsApp? Yeah, yeah go ahead and text you. me, and I'll I'll let you know what oh, I've got available. All right. All right. All right thank, thank you. you. Okay. Thank bye you. now.